place in the world and what you have to offer instead of trying to conform to someone else's idea of what that looks like. I'd, I'd yeah, be absolutely. honored to. So, um, you know, we have about 15 more minutes in the show, and I want to touch upon some of the other topics like um, that I usually touch on in business and what your ideas around social responsibility and business are. As you know, I'm, you know, especially being a part of this world right now, our economy is crashing and there's a lot of this new movement, this greenwashing movement of, you know, these companies and individuals saying that they're green, that they're either living a green lifestyle or that they're uh, business is green. And this is something that's really interesting to me because it's created a whole um, miniature society where people shop at Whole Foods and they drive hybrids and they, you know, they do all these things that somebody else said is good for the environment or is green. And, um, and at the same time, the, the businesses are using that as a marketing tool. I'd be interested in knowing your point of view on that and how the greenwashing, it's intertwined with marketing and if you've seen it much in the fashion industry or in your own company? Well, um, first of all, I've had a, um, an event company call me and say that they've got, they want to put on an echo green fashion show and they're bringing in four designers, two from New York and two from L.A. to um, that are green designers, Echo um, Couture, they call it. And there, it's going to be done for autism charity and Down syndrome charity. The proceeds will go to those two charities. So they are planning this Echo fashion show, which is the first, you know, in, at least in Denver. And um, uh, they, so that's a new thing that's happening. But I do think that just because consciousness is raising, people are becoming more aware of that the Earth is a sentient being and that, you know, we need to take care of, the, you know, the planet. And, and that wasn't in consciousness 25 years ago or 30 years ago or whenever. It's just slowly starting to come out and getting very, very um, now people aware of that and people m more aware of trying to take, you know, their own little bag to the grocery store and do what little, their little part of what they can do. And, of course, with our new president, Obama, you know, him, you know, trying to stress that we're going to do things that are more energy efficient, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I just think that it's, it's just in consciousness that because it's raising that people are becoming more aware of taking care of the planet because this is our home and we have to or we'll destroy it, bottom line. So I think it's a great thing. I mean, uh, here again, there's good and bad in every every type of new idea. But I think overall it's a good thing. I don't know if that answers your question. Right. Yeah, it okay. sure does. It. There's a... <laughs> I, in some of my own research online, you know, you can start to see how different materials are seeping into the fashion industry. And uh, someone in the chat room was also mentioning um, making fashion out of some of our trash and the trash bags and the different recyclable materials or um, things that typically haven't been used in fashion. You're starting to see them pop up in different strange ways which I think is yeah. uh, another interesting use of fashion and definitely making a statement. I'm curious also about, um, you know, from a designer point of view, what kinds of messages do you feel like designers are trying to uh, bring into the world? Is it is there something, a thread that goes through all of the different designers or is there a commonality between the different messages that designers are trying to um, spread with their designs? Well, I don't know th that I can come up with that answer. Um, that is, I think, so individual and so um, uh, I think each designer is 
so different and so unique. I, I don't know that there is a, a commonality. Um, do you right. think there is? Hmm? In in some of my own um, reading and research, it seems um, one thread that I've seen is that um, the designers are really coming from their own source of creativity. And yeah. so with that, as you um, explore it a little deeper, it seems like they're just they're trying to use their designs um, from things that they see in their world. They create these designs for the use um, of individuals to be able to express themselves. So I feel like there is um, some intention to allow individuals to be more of who they are and use whichever designer's clothes really make them more of who they are or want to be in this world. So um, that's something I see in my own life and with friends and family all the time is just by putting on a different outfit or a different costume, you can take on a whole different personality or a whole different quality. So yeah. um, I, I, I don't yeah, know. That, that <laughs> to me has always been, um, I, I mean, I, I didn't even think of that because to me it's just always been there. Um, but people, when they're designers, um, they truly are trying to, they're expressing their inner creativity. I mean, I, that to me has always been in existence. You know, um, from way back to the very beginning, people made beads and expressed their, <laughs> you know, self in, in their jewelry designs or anything like that. I mean, it has always been. Um, Right, maybe we're you're talking about something different than what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, um, so the piece that that I'm very interested in at the moment is how. So we have this. We're talking about the raising of consciousness, and we're seeing it in our world all the time. Um, so there's this, and there's this split. There seems to be kind of the the darker and the lighter energies that are um, splitting and creating, one side is creating more of a shift in the view of um, op opportunity and possibility and shifting of consciousness, and the other side seems to be much more fear-driven, um, you know, kind of apocalypse mentality. And I'm interested, the same, I, I've seen the same situation in, um, in fashion, you know, there are people that have, like, like you, Donna, you have the different <laughs> because you've sorry, been a part of it for out. so what, long. I'm sorry, what was the last part? You were cut out because you've been part? a part because you've been a part of the fashion industry so long. You know a lot, a lot more about it, and there seems to be just in this conversation we're having a lot of depth and um, a different twist on the industry than what a lot of people in society have. They think of fashion and they think of something that makes them feel bad. And I know we touched on this briefly before, but 